now friends, it's Miranda and welcome back to Corgi's Wine and Nails. I do have a Corgi name writer. He is running around. He may make noise during this video. Um, and then today's episode, I also have a baby and a husband that are home and they might be making noise too. So um, grab a glass of wine and let's get started. Today I'm gonna do um, some nail extensions with Builder Gel. Um, I really like this new Builder Gel from Triple D. It's called Opulent Builder Nail Gel. And I'm gonna make this hand long like this hand. So it should be a good time. Uh, if you're interested, stay tuned. You'll need the Triple D Opulent build a nail Gel. You'll need your Triple D Gel Base. Um, I really love these forms. These are new from Triple D, and I'll show you, they're so cool. Um, I also have this little brush. Um, you can get these as a set from the website, uh, but this is a little branded brush and it's got cute little pink crystals, it's so adorable. And it's a size six and it's perfect for building a gel nail. I'll show you how in just a minute. And then um, buffing block, file, and um, alcohol with a little wipe and you'll be all set. So let's do this. All right, so remove your nail form from the backing. I love these compared to the nail forms I was using previously that I had gotten on Amazon because they're so petite and they just work so well. This little center tab, let me see, you're going to line it up kind of just in the center here below that opening and this will give some structure to your uh, nail form. And then go ahead and there's a perforation right here. Break the um, perforation right there. and. Um, probably the trickiest part about doing um, a building a nail is because you want to make sure that your form is lined up correctly. And I love these because it, see how it's kind of um, a V shape? It fits right in my nail bed so perfectly. And then, um, so I wanna center that up to my finger. Hopefully you can tell I'm doing that. And it fits just right. So it's snug as bug right there. And then um, I'm going to start pinching these edges, but I want to pretend that I have a, um, a horizontal line, imaginary horizontal line, where I'm not lifting the form up and I'm not pointing it down to make a claw, right? I want it to be like straight out from like where my uh, nail bed meets my cuticle to where I'm imagining my tip. I want kind of a horizontal line um, to make sure my, that the nail looks balanced. So I'm just gonna gently pinch the end here, right in the center. And I like how that's lined up. And then the little wings just kind of match up just right. And this just starts to make a little cone and starts conforming to your finger. And then right here, the little tabs, you just wrap them around. And so now I've got a nice little cone shape and I am going to be ready to build my nail. Just trying to make sure it looks really centered. Yep, all right, I like that. So I'm gonna do this to all my nails and then we are going to apply the builder gel. Okay, so the first time you do this, you might want to just work on one finger at a time. Um, and that's what I did. I'm just getting a little bit more comfortable with using it, so uh, I'm doing these four, I'll do my thumb separately because when I'm putting it into the lamp, I want to um, put it in completely um, um, horizontal and so it's not tilted, um, just to make sure it cures, you know, in the best way possible. So I'm gonna take the Triple D gel base and I'm gonna apply it to all of these on my natural nail part. So just a quick coat, it's very easy. And then I'll cure this for 30 seconds, um, but this combined with um, the buffing that I did on my nail will give some grip for the builder gel to hold on to. And then I'll show you something right before I cure um, about these little uh, nail forms. They're so, they're just so well thought out because of the perfect size. They have that nice little V indention, um, like I was showing you, so it fits right under my finger, just exactly right. And then um, what's also really cool 
is here if you want to tear that it's perforated you can tear these wings off if you need more room in your lamp uh, so i just think that's so cool all right we're going to cure these for 30 seconds all right so i just opened up the builder gel um there's still a little bit of foil on there that i guess i could take off one day uh, but i wanted to show you i'm going to get a dollop and it, um, it's got, it's very viscous. It's thicker than regular, um, hopefully you can see this. It's much thicker than just like a regular um, gel. And what I'm gonna do is hopefully stay in shot. Cause believe it or not, I've um, filmed this two other times and was doing this other shot the whole time. Uh, so I'm going to, <laughs> I'm such a goof. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of build a little spot and I don't tap it, I just kind of wiggle and push and bring it out along the tip and then pull it down onto the nail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just fill the whole nail with a thin coat and I'm gonna get a dab more. Um, I'm gonna, if you get too much, just wipe it on the side of your jar. Uh, but basically, I'm just gonna kind of wiggle this around to make sure that I'm making an edge or a tip here with the product. And just kind of wiggling and pushing, trying to turn my hand to get the right angle. Um, this self, self levels really nicely. So um, a lot of ladies use this to build their apex. But yeah, so that's that nail um, so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all the nails. Um, I don't know if I'll film this whole part, but um, maybe I will and I'll fast forward. But this is just really easy to dab on, make an extension. I actually um, also have this kind of my real nail here filed in pretty narrow, so I'm gonna make it wider. And so I'm adding a tip and I'm adding width to the nail on the sides here, because I don't want it to be this narrow. And then fill in here along the nail bed. Right along the edges. Don't get it on your skin, but just do it right along the edges. And so hopefully you can see the products off the edge there. Okay, so now I'm going to cure this. Um, I always put my lid on my jar and move my brush out of the way. My lamp is over to the side, but I wanna make sure that I do not um, have my products too close to the lamp that the light could impact them. And the lamp I have is a 54 watt, 48 watt and higher um, UV LED lamp is recommended. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the first um, uh, cure here for 30 seconds and um, if you want to you can hold your hand upside down like this for about 30 seconds before you put it into your lamp and um, that may help um, with your apex with the um, product settling into a nice apex so I'll just do that for 30 seconds and then I'll go cure and I'll be right back here's after the first cure um, if you like, at this point, you can gently remove the forms. Um, since these forms are so petite, I actually don't mind keeping them on for right now. Uh, so with my other forms, I couldn't wait to get them off. They were just big and bulky um, and just in my way. So we're gonna do the second coat now. Same thing as we did before, um, just applying this to the tip and pushing and pulling. Uh, I'm not really patting, I'm just kind of like pushing, pulling, wiggling, doing the wiggle. <laughs> Getting right next to my cuticles without touching. 
and then just nicely pulling down the product to the tip. Uh, so I'll do this to all the nails and then um, I'll be back to tell you the next steps. Okay, so again, I'll hold my hand upside down for 30 seconds. And then this time on my final cure, I'm gonna cure for 90 seconds. Um, and it will be um, optional to you. If you wanna keep building, you can. Um, just do 30 seconds for every coat until you do your final coat, which your final you'll do for 90 seconds. Fresh out of the oven. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad, and I'm gonna wipe off the uh, sticky layer, but can you hear? It's hard. After 90 seconds, woo -woo. Uh, So this is very um, comparable to acrylic. Um, it definitely has strength to it, and you can either use it as a protective overlay um, on your natural nails, or you can use it like I am today to extend your nails. And now that we have done all the that, we just gently pop off these nail forms, and that turned out pretty good. Um, I already, you can tell, I had that um, builder gel already, and so I just extended over um, a, an extension I already had because I wanted to make this even longer than what I had there. So I think these are turning out pretty good. Um, they're not going to be perfect shaped. <laughs> One of them or two of them or all of them might look like alien nails when you first, um, see I kind of just like pinch and then they pop off. Um, might look like alien nails, like see that one's crazy. <laughs> um, but then once you shape and file and buff, oh my gosh, these are so easy to shape, file and buff. So you'll have them back exactly what you want them to look like in no time. Yeah, I see some of these look really crazy. Okay. And my son and husband are up, so you might hear them now. But I'm gonna get busy filing and shaping. And if you wanna stick around for that part, um, then I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so I had a good amount of um, natural light in this room before, but now I'm realizing there's probably a shadow um, as it's turning evening. So sorry for the lighting change, but I thought that this would be a little more helpful for you all to see. I'm just comparing to kind of check that I'm in the same length range um, as my other hand. And I think I am. This pinky's a little shorter.
always flip my hand over this way and kind of check the length in this direction. And it also helps me check that my tips are balanced and not like slanted too far in any one way. Um, even though like this finger, the nail doesn't grow um, straight. So I always have to kind of do some corrective filing for this one to try to give it the impression that it's not totally wonky. <laughs> Okay, so this, for the most part, um, was really smooth um, on top, uh, but if you have any lumpy spots, then uh, I just file the top. And it's so easy to buff, you guys. Crazy easy to buff. I like how that one's coming together. Even though it looked a little bit like funny before, it's smoothing out really nice. Uh, this is great too if you have a, um, if your nail bed has like indentions, uh, maybe you damaged your nail or maybe you, um, you know, got a little too like excited with your uh, electric drill and kind of like made an indention, um, which I've done before and as it's growing out, um, this will uh, create a really smooth nail bed for you. Um, and this is great too, because you can just do a fill uh, with this. Um, I use UNT pill base on top of this. So I just pop off my old dip when I'm ready, you know, in a couple days. <laughs> I know people try to wear their manis longer than me, but um, yeah, I just wear usually a couple days for my mini. And um, so I'll just pop it off because I have peel base on over top of this and uh, then if I have some grow out, then I'll just fill in, basically, um, very similar process. So maybe I'll make a video for you guys of just like a quick fill in, if you wanna see, but um, yeah, this stuff's so awesome, I love it. And if you have really short nails, um, where your natural nail's pretty close to your nail bed, you can make some really cool looks because this is clear. Um, you can do some of those like really nice transparent um, extensions and you know put like the iridescent butterflies or floral designs and stuff where it looks like see-through, it looks pretty cool. Um, I also wanted to show you, see how thin this is? So it basically feels like, almost like my natural nail. I mean, it's really thin, you guys. So um, it doesn't feel bulky when I dip on top. I'm just kind of checking my shape. And uh, my shape doesn't have to be perfect because I am gonna dip over these. So I'll be like doing, you know, once I start dipping, I'll be reshaping them. Uh, but so far, here's what we're doing. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, and then final step is um, using my soft side for my buffing block for the buff. Um, don't worry, I'll do my thumbs separately, but I wanted to go ahead and show you kind of the majority of how to do this. And so this is perfectly smooth, just like a natural nano.
Again, super thin. All right, nail friends. So we are completed with our builder gel. Um, did my thumbs too. I wanted to show you really quickly before we wrap. Um, I just have alcohol on the same pad that I was um, uh, wiping my nails with. And then I'm just going to rub my brush against that. And voila, my brush is clean and ready to store. So it's very, very easy to clean up. Just a little bit of the rubbing alcohol and your brush will be good as new. So that completes our tutorial today. Again, I'm just a DIY user like you, so if I can do it, I really think you can do it too. So um, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now, friends. Love ya.